Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to show you how you can use the concept of color image processing and binary image processing together and make some really cool project. Okay. So for this particular demonstration purpose, let me first import one image which I have taken from internet. Okay. CLC, clear all, close all, warning off. We can write then x equal to im read our image which I have uh, taken is stored as pre.jpg let me just show you the image I am show x okay so here I am taking this checkerboard image and the question is give the count value of total number of red checkers present in this image okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 total 12 checkers present right now you may ask me why we are going to use image processing algorithm here we can count by ourselves right but try to understand this is the importance of uh, automation okay why we switch from manual human work to robotics and automation because we don't want work which is dull okay because human will get bored if he or if a particular human has to do one uh, dull thing again and again okay this kind of counting is very dull thing right Similarly, dangerous work, we try to replace uh, humans by robots. Okay, D uh, dirty work, we try to replace humans by uh, robots. All these things, right? So here, what will happen if we able to automate this, eventually one camera sensor will be there which will be taking each time photo from uh, uh, above part of the checkerboard. Okay, again, and it will give us the count value, right? So this will be really cool. So what we can do, we can first create one... Uh, threshold or filter for our this particular image okay so i will be going to apps i will click on this drop down option and i will select color threshold app okay and here i will first import my image right load image from workspace i will click on this image because only one image is present and here i will be choosing my hsv color space as usual i have shown earlier also and i am going to take this particular one okay see now i am drawing freehand using mouse pointer right so if i just select see how beautifully only this uh, red checkers are selected okay and automatically hue saturation and value part is adjusted so the, here is the option I, here it will give you one opportunity to draw freehand okay and create the required mask or filter now go to export and export function click that directly one function will be exported save this in the same directory using the same name create mask save okay now what i will do i will go to my original code okay which is this one okay let me just close this one cr.m which is not required so this is my uh, create mask function which we are not going to change and here we are going to apply gs equal to uh, create mask C R E A T E M A S create mask of X. Okay, so it is basically color masking we are doing, and in a new figure window, F I G U R E figure window, I am going to show my uh, filtered image. Okay, filter I M so X. So see here we are directly getting this one. Okay, after filtering, right? Obviously, this is expected. Now, we have to count total number of uh, binary image, binary large object present in it. But the problem is that here, if you just check this one, see here some uh, isolated pixels are present. This should not happen because this will be counted as a separate binary object. So, what we can do, we can apply IM dilate with one large disk shape. Here, disk shape structuring element will go because our original target of this is also round shape, right? So, we will first apply dilation, right? So, here what we will do, we will basically write, uh, create one uh, STREL structuring element of disk shape and 15 maybe pixel, okay, its size, okay, so radius. Then we will apply dilation on this. So, L is equal to IM dilate, dilate, okay. IM dilate, GS is our uh, filtered binary image. And we are passing via our this particular structuring element for dilation purpose. Okay. Then applying figure I am show. 
okay ls okay run this whole code let us check whether we are getting any error or not no perfect see now no isolated pixels are there now simply what we can do we can apply our labeling t g okay random variable name i am giving bw label okay ls which is our dilated image okay bw label ls and in the second output argument g our result that is total number of binary object that is total number of red checkers is going to be stored display g okay run this code okay it will take some time see what it is giving us output 12 okay so is it working just have a count in our original uh, image see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so total 12 checker the red checkers are present and it is giving this so this is how you can merge the two different concept one is color image processing another one is binary image processing and do this kind of cool things okay using color threshold art so color image processing is very important part of image processing once you extract your region of interest region of interest color then convert to binary apply different operation uh, labeling uh, hole filling okay boundary uh, object removal all these things whatever i have discussed erosion dilation opening closing drop head transformation bottom head transformation anything and get the result okay extract your desired result, result right so this is what i wanted to discuss same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching